Well, Paul, first of all, just sum up the game today. I think from our point of view, we're really disappointed with the performance and obviously the result. I think um, you know, that's three defeats in a row now, which we know is not good enough. And um, we need to not be too disappointed You know, over the weekend of a game coming on Tuesday, which we need to... Um, you know, put a better showing in in front of our fans and give them, you know, some more to shout about and, and make sure um, we're ready to go and, and, and start winning football matches again. What was the mood like in the dressing room after that one? Was it difficult not to get too disappointed? I think so. I think obviously when you sort of train all week with how you want to play and, and don't then go out and perform, it's obviously very disappointing for everyone involved. But um, like I say, we've got some good players and a lot of experience, so. Um, we'll use that, you know, and, and, and come back stronger, ready for um, Tuesday night. Where do you think the game was lost today? Was it just one where it wasn't quite your day? No, I think um, so it was disappointing to go one nil down, and, and that sort of made the task difficult. Um, they came and frustrated us, but I just think at times we, the build-up was a bit slow and, and lacked quality, which um, you know made everyone get more frustrated, frustrated, and. Um, just failed to create, you know, enough chances to, to score goals, um, which was disappointing because, you know, we've got to expect better, um, you know, in front of the home fans that we can, you know, score goals and win games. On a personal point of view, I'm sure it won't feel like it now, but it must be pleasing to be able to get back out there on the grass. Yeah, I, I did enjoy it today. I think apart from the result, um, always a proud moment for me playing in front of uh, the home fans and. Um, you know, hopefully there's more to come from me now and I can get a run of games and, and start you know, showing everyone uh, that I'm a good player and you know, I want to be part of its successful team and uh, yeah, I'll look to build on today and, and you know, kick on ready for the next game. Was it something of a, a late call-up, obviously with Clark Robertson dropping out due to injury earlier in the week in training? Yeah, I think you know, obviously I've um, had a sort of frustrating start with injury and, and COVID, um, but... I think the couple of injuries was sort of a bit of good luck for me, obviously, to to step in and um, always train hard and be ready to play. So, um, although it was sort of a late shout, I'm always ready and, um, you know, will continue to be to, to play my part. And in terms of your own injuries, you, you certainly look fully fit out there. Did, it, did you feel OK? Did you get through it OK? Yeah, no, I felt great. I think, um, like I say, I've worked hard in training and feel fully fit now. So, out of... Uh, Obviously, the game at Wimbledon and a couple of reserve games, which has sort of built my match fitness up. And um, like I said, I'll be better for today again and, and ready if needed on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, you know, moving on, it's a bit of a cliche, but is it nice to have that game on Tuesday so that you can go straight back in and, and try and put this one right? Yeah, definitely. I think, like I said, it gives us another opportunity in front of our home fans to to perform better and, and get that win on Tuesday, which we'll all be desperate for. So, yeah, it's about recovering now and... and um, being ready for Tuesday night because it's, it's a massive game and um, you know we want to start winning football matches again and uh, the sooner we do that the better.